There's only three more. Oh, there's it's like there's gonna be really close for like hoppers. I think wait. We're seven sixteen. I think I'm only missing three. I think that's all I need. Three. <laughs> I think I only need. I think I nearly made the perfect amount. What is going on, like? I'm literally like making almost the perfect amount of everything. Right, I've got another thirty-two, so I think I'll be able to make the, uh, this actual area. But I still need another half much though. Then these run into this side. We took out a perfect area as well. Please, activate the light. Something went wrong, probably in the circuitry. They're not on the droppers. There's one there, but that's just because it, it goes there, though. Oh, no, I know why. Because I forgot to do one here. Wait, is that right? Oh, no. It's, it's actually because we haven't put in all of the blocks yet. I haven't put all of the fillers in. And boom. What's that going? Nice. Right, I've just got the four left to do. And we should be good with this with this storage system. Right. I'm gonna put red concrete in just to like just because I wanted to see if the other ones work right now. Red concrete, red concrete, red concrete, red concrete. Just so that, right, okay, let's put, uh, let's put cobblestone in. So it registers that it's output in there, and it has a light, and it should go through to the cobblestone. Nice! Yay! Okay, and then if I put a, a night. So that shouldn't go through and it should go it, I think it takes a while to actually go through the very end and there we go I think it, it does take a while yeah the, fi the fifth one does take a while to get through it does come through though it might be the one after um, if you put some other blocks in it'll come out with them which is a little bit annoying but it's just the... It's just got to do with updates and stuff. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I mean, it isn't that bad, honestly. I mean, one item sometimes just... It's just bedrock edition. That's just annoying like that. Alright. So, hello everyone. Um, I know you don't really sit, uh, hear me talk that much in these videos. And it's not really, like, a direct kind of, like, to you guys type of, like, scenario and all that. But... I just hit uh, obviously 2,000 subscribers and that's really really cool and all that um, and yeah I've been listening to you guys I've made a poll on what guy uh, on what um, <laughs> on what guys on um, on what kind of games you guys want us to uh, play um, the most I've noticed that I've got a lot of Apex fans and I've got a lot of Minecraft fans so I might do a bit of a, a bit of both uh, maybe one day we'll do it one day do an Apex video then another do you do a Minecraft video or something like that? Um, but it's quite hard because you can't really have two separate fan bases on one channel. It doesn't really make sense for a gaming channel um, to do that. Some people who are who, who are tune in for Apex related content and some that tune in for Minecraft. But I will get to the bottom of it. Um, I, I don't want to like stop playing Apex and stop uploading Apex just because I've got like mostly a Minecraft fan base. You know what I mean? Still got to do both. Apex is a really good game in case you guys haven't played it. 
Um, I just really enjoy it myself, so I'm I'm probably still going to upload it on this channel. But anyway, um, I can hear a chicken or something walking around. Um, anyway, this is a project that I've been working on for a while. We now actually have elytras. Um, I haven't uploaded the uh, the dragon uh, episode yet, but it will be going out today. Um, we now have elytras and stuff. I will, I've, ca I've, I've called it all god armor because that's what always what I used to say. And uh, it's kind of just stuck with um, the gameplay. But yeah, this is uh, my little area. So we're going to put in the code. Just like that. The door opens. It's a really cool door. I'm going to lock it from the inside. Um, that is how you can get out in case uh, this does actually break. Because um, if someone changes the code outside, um, it does. this lock will, when you try to reopen it again, it won't work because the code's incorrect. And therefore, that's how you get out instead. And obviously, you can't get down because the warp stream going upwards. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna go down. And, uh, oh, another lag there. Um, so now we have a lot of chests. I will be moving these chests um, very very shortly. Uh, we have a temporal kind of um, area here to get over to the farm area, um, and then we have one of our portals. And yeah, we have a really nice portal uh, set up. Um, a portal kind of connection system. I don't think I've made a video on that yet, or I haven't really featured it that much. Um, our portal connections are really, really cool. Um, took a while to build them as well. Uh, but th this is the purple area in the terms of the per of the portals. Um, <laughs> I killed some slimes, and uh, that well, that happened. Anyway, we'll have uh, lots of lots of iron stuff in there, and here we are. So we have aids. Now, that is a funny joke, you know. I was actually planning on making it just called Aid, but then that's my base and that's the shop. So I kind of want to make it, you know, plural. It would make more sense. Um, but anyway, let's go through here. You need uh, iron nuggets to get through. So you're going to put an iron nugget through. And here, get the iron nugget back. And we can now go through. This button opens it from the outside without needing any iron nuggets. Um, so that's just what that does. The left corridor hasn't been done yet, and the right corridor hasn't done yet, but the title of this video is the storage corridor, or the storage pathway, or branch, or whatever. Um, so yeah, as with a lot of these areas, I have a inner chest right here, um, and yeah, you can see everything that we have in here. So, you can see on the counter right here, I have actually made a video on this, we have 26. We are currently collecting spruce logs, that's what we are currently collecting. And that will display the amount of spruce logs that we have in the system. Um, just to prove that I actually don't have 26 because I actually had to break one to um, to place it there. We'll have 25 instead. Oh, there we go. We'll have 25 instead because I had to place one right here. Um, that's fine. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just put probably another one in there whenever I get another one. Um, but yeah. That's that right there. It's a nice little counter that displays how many logs you actually have. Um, we'll start over here. So obviously we have some chests in the way because we're digging out this entire area. This is all underground, by the way. That dome out there as well was all underground. Um, we have a community chest right here. So everyone in the, in the game can all access this one chest and put things in it um, that anyone can use. Um, we already do have like a little post box system where everyone can well anyone can put any item in anyone's post box and then it'll show like a little light if there's anything in it um so this is kind of the same thing it, it is a little community chest i think i'm think yeah i'm getting disconnected right and that's the community chest there uh we have a little system here that is just um temporal but right here you can see the glowstone behind here just imagine this isn't here right here um this is going to be our job wall or at least my job wall because this is actually my base um, but I just have some kind of community type of services and all that stuff here where anyone can use. Um, now this is the storage system. This little segment here, from there to that light there. Um, this is the storage system for items and blocks. So you can see we have things like oak planks, all the different types of planks, dirt, cobble, granite, diorite, andesite, things that I might use in the future, but right now it's just, just totally clogging up our chests. Chest, um, chest, gravel, sand, snow, netherrack, and endstone. Um, we actually have pretty much, like, 
in like the bottom chest filled with cobblestone, yeah. So not quite a lot of cobblestone, but yeah, it automatically fills it in um for us. So if I put some blocks in here, 24 cobble, uh, it'll turn the light on, saying that yeah, things are going through right now. And the cobble light right here should turn on. Um, it did actually activate this one very briefly because sometimes one item does get clogged up right on there. And that item must have been a granite um, block just going through. So that is just um, a little bit of a kind of bug. But it's not really because the item hasn't been lost. It's just in a, it's just in a dropper over there um, for storage, I guess. It hasn't been lost. It'll eventually get through the next time you put items through. So that probably also means that there is a cobblestone block now also in there. Um, oh my god, that scared the fuck out of us. <laughs> Enderman just being there. I'm gonna kill him. I want to kill you. I got four ender pearls. <laughs> nice. Wow. And also as well, if we put an item that uh, isn't part of the system, I'll show you this. If it isn't any of them blocks within the um, within there, I'm gonna put nine iron nuggets in there. Um, it will take it and put it over here. Um, at least, yeah. There we go. There's the, there's the cobblestone going through it there. For the last time, and it should start popping over here. And you can see the light starts blinking, um, and you can see eight iron nuggets I went through. I put nine in, eight came out. That's because one of them is held in the system. Um, <coughs> so that's that. I'm going to turn up the music a little bit because I think it might be a little bit too loud. Um, there we go. Down to like nine ish. Okay. Alright, so we actually have it back on easy mode. I'm gonna have to get my bread out. We'll start with another second layer as well. Um, I'll do this one last actually. Um, so then we'll have extra storage here. It's the same exact design we use the uh, scaffold on, and it's just extra storage. Um, we'll probably have item frames eventually. We'll probably change all this and just have it so the scaffold is one block back. And then we're going to have like item frames on every single chest, like to specify what we want in that chest. Um, so we'll have a chest here for like, I don't know, slabs or something. Because sometimes we'll make a load of slabs and obviously you can't change slabs back, like, back in the blocks. Like if, we, if we go in here or this chest, it was, yeah, there's slabs and there's stairs that we can't turn, we can't turn back in the normal blocks. So we'll, just, we'll put all them in one or two chests, just depending on how many actually will need. Um, I think I hear a skeleton around here somewhere. Um, but that's that over there. We will, you know, do more with that. And uh, yeah, I do want to make a, a tutorial for this, but at the same time, it is really complicated. And I'll probably just link you the tutorial that I kind of base mine off. Um, if I do make a video. Um, and here we go, we have 16 shulkers. This is pretty much all the shulker boxes I have actually acquired. Because um, obviously shulker, shulkers are kind of annoying to get. And um, the shulker shells. Because you need to kill them shulkers. Which, I mean, if you put them on peaceful, they don't attack you. But it's still quite annoying because you have to go all the way to the end city just to, just to kill them. Um, but yeah, I've got 16. I've bagged them all different colours. And right now I'm just containing all my... All my um, Quartz that I've got left. I think I've only got yeah, I've only got like about six, maybe five if you, if you take away all the ones I've kind of used. About five um, sugar boxes full of quartz left, um, and the rest of these are just empty. Um, but you can see I've actually changed the title up here to cyan dye and all this other stuff, light blue dye and uh, pink dye. Even though that's actually grey, but you can't really tell um, because there's actually no pink colour. Um, for some reason, when you're doing the text. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, this is the the top area, and then we're gonna have a storage of all of the books that we have. So protection, fire protection, blast protection. These aren't actually books. Um, sorry to break the illusion here. Uh, and these aren't actually books. They are just, you know, <laughs> signed books with the name of projectile protection. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um. And we'll have every single one, all the way down to the latest ones right here, the quick charge and multi-shot and all that. Uh, right here, I will have more sugar boxes um, that I will have full of my storage that I want to keep. Um, 
at which then we can just take from the wall and go on our journey or whatever. Um, also, I noticed that you can place iron frames on top of shulker boxes. So we can also probably do the same thing as what we've done on, or what we will do on the bottom with uh, the chest down there. And we'll probably put iron frames on the shulker boxes to then signify what the shulker box will contain. Um, and right here, right on the very end, is a little, um, I guess, thing that you can delete a load of your items. And they just go through. If I want to stop it, I can pull that lever. It might take a little while because obviously it ticks the, the ones down. Uh, it essentially stops it from taking any more blocks out of its chest and it'll stop the light. Um, obviously there's obviously a couple of blocks in there as well, but um, yeah, it'll, it'll, it's pretty cool. It just takes all the items out of the chest and destroys them. I don't like diorite myself, so I'm not going to be needing it. I'm going to have a load of it anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm not like just throwing away diorite for no reason. Um, I'll have loads of it, so... That is pretty cool. It's kind of loud, um, because of the dropper and dispenser or whatever, um, but it's fine. I think it, I think it adds to the whole sound of this entire area. Also, as well, it's very quiet over here, and that is pretty weird because there is actually a dropper that is on a clock. Oh, it seems like the clock broke. Um, I'll have to replace that. There we go. Um, don't know why I've done that. Might be because of lag or something, but yeah. Uh, we just have to kind of keep track of things like this. Um, this will always be taken, by the way. <coughs> so, that's that. And now we have our vault. And um, this is... Well, someone's already making a, um, a bank. Sean's already making a bank. So, I was kind of like, I really want to make a bank. You know, I was like really hoping I was going to make a bank. Because I had this design, this um, this 11 by 11 door, and I was like, this would look really cool. This would look perfect if it was like a bank. And I was like, what's the other thing I'm thinking of? And then I finally, I finally came to it as a vault, like containing diamonds, you know? Um, and yeah, it will have all of our diamond blocks contained into here with the right combination of levers. And you can see it all falls down and it gets piled up. There you go. And we don't have any diamonds in here yet, but we will have diamond blocks in here very, very soon. Um, obviously, we haven't actually included our currency yet, and we will be making a currency of diamonds, um, because every single other currency, essentially, except from lapis and coal, can act actually, no, coal can be acquired, can't it, because uh, we're their skeletons. Um, so yeah, literally every single other resource, or currency, I guess you could say, can be acquired. Like, iron can be acquired from iron farms, gold can be gotten from zombie pigmen, stuff like that, zombie pigmen farms. Um, coal can be literally gotten from wither skeletons. Like, we're not thinking about the actual ores underground, because that requires work in order to get them. Um, we're talking about actual ore mic farms, that you can just sit there, AFK, and things die around you, dropping the items. Um, so, we don't want to use things like that, because we want to have a currency that you have to go out and mine for instead of having to like just afk otherwise people would put a lower effort in to like i don't know if there's a shuttle box shop we would have to go to the end and do all this work to get the shuttle boxes that if we had a currency that was like gold or something you know someone can just sit in like a gold farm for like five five minutes or something and get the amount of gold needed um so we want a currency like diamonds or lapis to do that um, because them two currencies cannot be farmed. Um, emeralds can with raids. We have a load of emeralds. In fact, the beacon that we um, that we have that's actually giving us a haste right now on the right, that is gotten from an emerald beacon. So that's pretty interesting. Um, it's made of fully out of emerald blocks. So emerald is out of the question. Right now we haven't actually made an iron farm nor a gold farm. So it's kind of like we can use iron and gold as a currency right now because you would have to go out and get it. Um, but once we do make an iron and gold farm, I think we're going to have to, you know, take them out of the question. Uh, redstone can be farmed as well from witches. Um, so that would also be a bad currency to, like, fully implement. Um, it's literally just lapis and diamonds. Um, 
and Lapis doesn't look as cool as Diamonds, to be honest. And plus, um, you might be thinking, well, Diamonds as a currency, you'll need a lot of them, won't you? And you don't have that much. And no, we don't really have that much. We'll have like a hundred or something left. Um, we'll be making Diamond Tools of everything. Um, and it's a little bit, obviously, it's, it's quite bad that we don't really have that many left, but we will get more because we haven't really been focused on mining at all. And plus, when we'll have the whole shopping district set up, it'll be like a, a society type of thing. We'll have like, oh, here's my diamonds for that item. And then that person can then spend things with someone else to then get, you know, so that other person gets some diamonds. It's like a full on rotational system. Um, so yeah, this is how we're doing it, doing it from now on. We're gonna now close it up. It immediately shuts. By the way, I, did, I didn't actually show that, which is a little bit annoying. I didn't, they didn't actually see that. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you right now because I will, that will bug me. Oh yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Open the side as well. Boom. All right, and there it shuts. And then opening, it's immediate. Look at that, that's so cool. Um, but yeah, that's our little door there. That's literally the entire um, branch right here. It is pretty cool, it's got a lot of things compacted in with one another, because I've wanted to make it like that. I want to make it so like, whenever wherever you look there's something, you know what I mean? Because before this was all like blank, you know, and it was only these things down here. And if you looked up there, you'd be like, well, there's nothing up there, you know what I mean? But now there is. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty interesting world. Um, it's only episode four, and I know that, guys. Um, I purposely am making it like this because, you know, I have had series in the past where it's like episode 10, and it's just me barely getting into the nether. And we've started this series in episode one where we killed the wither. You know, like... I never even done that in my other survival world. Um, I never even killed a wither in that. So, um, actually, no, I think I did, but it was like ages after. But yeah, we are starting this survival world pretty good, you know. Um, and yeah, it'll be like every single episode there's a new branch or something, um, which requires a lot of work to actually do all that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys um, actually like it, like this world. I love uh, making this dome over here. I think it looks so cool. This massive dome. Remember, all this is underground, by the way, um, which means you know, it's uh, it's it's completely kind of bright in here, even though it might be nighttime or something outside. We don't even know if it's nighttime or not when we're down here. Um, anyway, guys, uh, I will see you guys next video. Uh, just once again as well. Thank you guys for 2k subs because that's like been insanely um like such an insanely high number of subscribers for the gaming channel especially you know this is the only channel that i have left now you know i used to have like 10 or something and then i deleted loads because um i obviously made loads of channels and then i combined all the things that i was going to make on them channels um into just one or two and then i had the productions channel which is just such a it was such a good channel and then now it's kind of just gone because of um, copyright infringement and all that stuff. Um, it's fine though because obviously now I I know better and um, yeah I, I think it was it's better to, to have a, a channel specified just for me I guess because this is obviously me playing all the games that I want to play. I'm not really an editor per se. I'm not really like the, the productions kind of person where it's like you know um, all about, you know, making things and all that. I was just making one hour loops of stuff, you know? Um, of which I acquired 14,000 subscribers for doing, so... Sometimes it's just things that you do that if you don't think are going to be popular, turn out to be popular. And, um, yeah. That's just the way that YouTube works, I guess. Um, but yeah, now it's like kind of a new chapter now with my gaming channel. I want to really make some, some decent content to put on here. And, uh, yeah, I'm listening to you guys as, um... You, you guys' opinions on what I should actually do on my channel as well. So if you once again have any ideas for things I should do, leave them in the really popular things that you guys suggest so that I can make some videos on them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye, right, well done.